So some time has gone by. She knows that she's caught. She knows that things are going to get figured out. So she wants to make things look as good for her as she can. Because she doesn't know what Michelle is saying. She doesn't know what they found. And if you remember back, Detective Graham had given her that out. Well, maybe she attacked you. Maybe this was all self-defense. And the defendant gloms onto that. And that's her story for Detective Graham, is self-defense. She doesn't portray this as being something that just happened. She doesn't portray this as being something that she hastily did that day, that she didn't know what was going on, and she just acted on impulse. She tells Detective Graham she acted in self-defense, that she purposefully thought about what she did to defend herself and to defend that baby that she thought was in Michelle Wilkins after she thought Michelle Wilkins was dead. And this is what you heard on Friday. Is this? I was like, okay, well, she's like, well, I need to go. I was like, okay. So I turned around, and before I knew it, she had, I think it was a knife that, that I had opened my box with that had been sitting on the counter. Go downstairs at this time? Yeah, we were in my daughter's room. But she wouldn't stop. Like, and it just seemed like every time I would kind of get leverage, it would just, she would come at me again. She kept trying to punch me, and she was like trying to bite me. And they go on and they ask her, Well, tell us about the baby. And this is what she says. I think I choked her. This is what she told, detec told Detective Graham. If you remember when Dr. Nelson went in to talk to her, she told Dr. Nelson that the woman had stabbed herself, and so she cut the baby out to save the baby. She 
can't get her story straight. She's told multiple stories about what happened in that bedroom. But you know what happened. <clears throat> the evidence in this case, the testimony in this case, proves to you one cohesive theory. The facts are obvious. Her intent is obvious. When you look at all of the evidence, all of the testimony, it proves to you beyond a reasonable doubt that everything that happened on March 18th was an intentional, purposeful act on the part of the defendant to get a baby. She is guilty of the charges against her. Attempted murder, first degree assault, second degree assault, and unlawful termination of a pregnancy. And we, the prosecution, knowing what our burden is, have proven to you that she is guilty of those charges beyond a reasonable doubt, and we ask that you find her guilty of such. Thank you, Ms. Weibel. Ms. Harold, closing? 